New pink fire merch has dropped on the PrestonStyles.com store. Link down below in the description. I know what you're probably thinking right now. Preston, we, we've already seen you make a $10,000 God Sword, and we've also already seen you make a $100,000 Rainbow Sword. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me just go ahead and surprise you real fast. You have yet to see me make a $1 million sword here in Minecraft. Also, can we get like five likes on this video so I can just change my Minecraft skin? This skin was really funny for the first couple of videos, but now I think it's just getting a little bit old. What do you think? I think I also need a Halloween skin. You know, Halloween's right around the corner and I don't even got one on right now. What is wrong with me? Okay, so without further ado, I'm looking at this thing right here and it looks like it says money for wooden sword. Get a $1 bill by punching grass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen. If I could have punched grass to make money all this time in my life, why was I not a farmer? But I should have invested in a tractor and just punched grass all day with that big old tractor. Can I get another? Can I get uh, more? Oh, yeah, I get me more another one dollar bill why did i just do this get a one dollar bill by punching grass okay i've got that oh and then i get the one dollar sword oh, okay all right and this gives me hey the one dollar sword this time's actually really good i've got speed normally guys whenever we have the one dollar sword we're like extremely slow and it's kind of lame but this time i'm like super fast okay so this is the next one explore the mines and gather the materials looks like we need the one dollar sword plus two cobblestone Plus a bone. It's gonna be easy peasy, guys. All right, let's head right over here, especially with this speed upgrade we've got with our sword. Oh, yeah, let's just go down right over here. Ba -na -na. Oh, tip, you can look straight up to teleport back to the surface. Oh my gosh, that is actually way too cool. Okay, Minecraft maps, you are going too far, and I gotta say, I love it. But you know what's not going too far? Buying Preston Styles merchandise. Link down below in the description. Okay, we're going downstairs in the mine. We get a little bit distracted by being a little bit of a sellout pleb. We've got a pressure plate over here, button down right there, another button, another button. What is this? Wait. Oh no, I've lost my speed. Wait, okay, I'm so confused right now. Maybe we have to stand on the pressure plate and then click the buttons? Wait, or is there a secret button somewhere inside of here? Okay, we gotta think here now, guys. Think. Maybe we need a crafting bench. Maybe that's the issue here. I mean, I don't know. Technically, I started in this survival mode, so I think I'm okay to punch wood. I mean, it's kind of a part of Minecraft. So of course I'm okay to punch wood. How about this? Can I punch wood? And then can I take it to this crafting bench? Okay, wait, this is like not even a good crafting bench. What the heck? Fine, I'll come over here then. We're gonna actually make a real normal crafting bench, not one that's all grayed out and all pleb status looking. Then we're gonna plop her down. Boom, get that. Boom, get... Okay, that is not how you make a pickaxe, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry for my new that is how you get a pickaxe. All right, now we've got the pickaxe. Now what we have to do is we need to get a little bit more wood because you can never have too much wood in Minecraft. It's one of the most primary resources in the entire world. We're gonna grab that wood and we're gonna come over here and smack this crafting bench. And then we're gonna head downstairs. And now, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen, but we should be able to harvest. Yes, okay, good, good, good. We should be able to put the crafting table down. And then we should be able to upgrade our wooden pickaxe to a wunderbar stone pickaxe. And now we should be able to use this stone pickaxe to go over here. Wait, we need a bone. We need a bone, right? Yeah. Okay, maybe this is where I was supposed to go this entire time. What do you mean? Okay. Oh, skeleton? Skeleton. Hey, dude, I do not have armor. Hey, guys, I need a bone and I need to get out of here, guys. I do not have enough armor for this. What do you not understand about enough armor, skeletons, huh? Oh, my Toledos. Okay, this is... Uh, oh, oh, we got the bones. We got the bones. Oh, oh my gosh. I just made it with a half a heart. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Let's go ahead and just put that bone right there. You do not understand what I had to do to get this bone. Oh, bam, look at this. We just got the hard hitter significant damage boost on our new $10 sword. And remember, this is only a $10 sword. We still got a long ways to go. Oh yeah, this is just what I needed, guys. Raw beef. Now I can actually regain those hearts I managed to lose. This thing actually hits really hard. We can almost, almost not quite, but we can almost one hit. Okay, stand still, Bessie. 
but we can almost hit a cow with one hit. Almost. Not, not, okay. Bessie, stop moving around. Bessie, I will kill you. Sorry, Bessie. Wait, Bessie didn't even give me any beef. Okay, that is a naughty cow, all right? We're gonna make us a crafting bench for the upstairs area. Put that bad boy down, and then we're gonna do this. Put some coal in there. Now make us have some beef, because we are hungry, okay? You know, it's quite a difficult task to make a one million dollar sword. It ain't easy, McSteezy, like everybody thinks it is. Takes a lot of practice. Patience, determination, and so much more. There we go, Mr. Steak, get inside my body. Oh, yeah. All right, I think this extra piece right here should be enough and should do it, and then we can begin the process for the next sword, which is probably the $100 sword recipe, which I'm looking at right there. It says, explore deeper in the mines to gather the materials. This sword looks awesome. So we need four iron ingots, two pieces of string, which means... We're gonna have to fight some spiders, guys. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have to fight some spiders. I gotta be honest, guys, I'm a little bit nervous of spiders, which is funny because in real life, I don't seem to mind spiders, but in video games, I do. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, I can't mine this. Okay. Oh, I kind of messed up there. I thought we would be able to mine this. We're not able to. We gotta go down, guys. We gotta go deeper, deeper into the mines. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, why did I break that torch? That was a dumb idea. Okay, let's put that back up right there. Get this iron. Oh, yeah. Collect that up. Scoop up all that iron. We're going to scoop up this coal. Oh, wait. We don't even need coal. These iron ingots smelt themselves. I should have probably known that from the sound effects it was making, but I didn't understand it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go even deeper. Reason being, we haven't found ourselves any spiderling creatures. We need spiderling creatures. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to craft our next sword. Oh, we found a spiderling creatures. Okay. Okay, so... Stay back, you demons. Stay back. All right, do I got the string? I've got the string. I'm going back. I love how you can just look straight up and teleport back to the top. That's probably one of the coolest features ever. Because we got all this extra coal, we're going to be able to get a ton of extra beef. So check it out right now, guys. We need to put in these items. Iron ingots. We need to put in the string, which I think goes right here, and then put in the sword. Oh, the string goes right here, sorry. And then we now have the $100 sword, which not only gives us a speed boost, hard hitter, but now we've got life steal, which means whenever we hit enemies, we steal their health and it's added back to our health. So we now need a whole lot of gold. Holy Tabeskis. Oh, but the crafting bench is now golden. That looks amazing. I'm not sure exactly what items we needed in particular. I know we needed a lot of, uh, I think we needed two chest plates, one helmet, something kind of ridiculous like that, which means we're going to have to collect a lot of gold right next to all these very, 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 very dangerous and hateful spiders. Oh, and we might as well go ahead and get diamonds while we're down here. Heck to the yes. Oh, spider. Spider. Okay, I just heard a spider, and I'm getting a little bit creeped out right now. This is not going to be enough gold, guys. We need way more. Oh, no, 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 no. No, spider, spider, stay back, stay back. At least it's not a cave spider, okay? When I think about this, it could be a lot worse. If there were cave spiders, I would be freaking out right now, but thank the Lord, it is not a cave spider. Now, how in the Sam Houston are we supposed to get out of here? No, Mr. Spider, I'm busy looking for the next passageway. Stay away from me, yeah, demons, stand back. As you can see, whenever I hit the spider and I lose hearts, I gain them back as soon as I hit the spider, which is really, really cool. I don't really know where to go, guys. I can hear them directly below. Oh my gosh. I may be the dumbest man in the world. Yep, okay, I'm the dumbest man in the world, but that's okay. We're just gonna go down here anyway, so let's just go ahead and disregard all that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we were looking for. Look at all this chicken nugget butter gold. Scooping up all that gold. We probably are gonna need somewhere along the lines, I would say, of like 30-ish gold. And we're at 21, so we're almost there. Not quite, but we have gone sufficiently deep in the mines. I feel like I'm playing CosmicPrisons.com, if you know what I'm saying. Check it out. Oh no, I said I was only gonna plug the merch once in this video, and I just plugged it twice. I'm sorry. Well, technically, my CosmicPrisons.com server is not merchandise, but you know, it's still a plug, so I think we're just gonna be okay for now. And you know what? While we're at it, we might as well go ahead and collect those juicy diamonds because, I mean, heck, who does not like diamonds? And I even feel like we might need some redstone, so I feel like I should probably just get ahead of ourselves, collect a little bit of this redstone, even the diamonds, and we for sure now have enough gold. Oh, 
And there is the next secret entrance, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and go back upstairs for now. So we need two chest plates and two helmets. That's crazy if you think about it. Two helmets and we still got gold to spare. Oh, and of course, we are gonna need ourselves a gold nugget just to, you know, add a little bit of icing onto the cake. So here we go. We gotta do gold ingot and then, oh, this is weird, golden chest plate. Golden chest plate, $100 sword. Gold helmet, gold helmet, and yeah, thousand dollar sword. We got speed boost, hard hitter, life steal, and a protection buff. 50% less damage taken. We are not even gonna need armor at this rate, guys. This sword is legit. Wait, 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 wait. We know this sword is legit, but can it one shot a cow? Oh, it's still, wait, can we one shot a cow if we crit the cow? We can! We can finally one-shot Bessie! We just got a crit to kill the cow, but still, that's pretty flippin' amazing. And you know, if you think that's pretty flippin' amazing, or this video's pretty flippin' amazing, go ahead and hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new. We're uploading all kinds of amazing videos on a regular basis. So we need slime balls and emeralds and emerald blocks. All right, so we're gonna have to go and combine our diamonds over here into one of those beautiful diamond looking big axes and put this bad boy back over here. And then we gotta go all the way back down to the mines. And this is so funny because I'm not able to die anymore. Because I've got life steal on my sword, any damage I take is just immediately sucked back up basically from creatures. I'm like a vampire in Halloween, but a real vampire. Well, a real vampire for Minecraft, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, check it out, guys. This is the downstairs area. Look at how much diamonds there are. I don't even know if I need diamonds, but I'm gonna grab the diamonds. I know we did need an, oh my gosh. We were just talking about cave spiders earlier. Why did you actually have to give me cave spiders game? Oh no, 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 no. Not cave spiders, anything but cave spiders. I know we technically don't need the diamonds yet, but I'm still gonna get them because they're diamonds and they're amazing. And leave a like down below if you like diamonds as much as me, because I freaking love diamonds, guys. We've got slime spawners. We've got more emeralds over here. We're gonna need to get as many emeralds as we can. And I think we just hit bedrock level. Oh no, oh no, stay away spider. You know what? I've got vampire on my sword, so I'm not even worried right now because I am just taking those hits like a champion. Come on, I've almost got all the emerald inside this cave. Slime, I need you to die. Oh, one slime ball? Guys, that is not gonna be enough. We need way more than one slime ball. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of slime to finish this. I think we needed four slime balls to finish this. So, you know, slimes, if you guys could just start spawning a lot more. Okay, and we are literally about to die to slimes and I can't see anything. It's so dark in here. Oh, we just got two more slime balls. Yes! Now we got ourselves the torches, my friends. I don't know why I didn't think about making these sooner. It really just didn't click in my small brain. I'm really sorry about that. There we go. Look at this. We can now see everything. And we now have five slime balls. I'm gonna collect one more just in case, but we have robbed this place blind. There is like nothing left here. And then I see the entrance to the next cave right here. Don't think you're sneaky on me like that. I think we're only at the $10,000 sword. This is the $1,000 sword. So I I think we might have a couple more swords to go. I don't even know right now. And there we go, the last slime brawl. All right, did I just call it a slime? Oh, oh, I thought we needed six for a second. We actually need two emerald blocks. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Okay, well, we're gonna give it the two emerald blocks, but I think that's kind of expensive to be honest. And if you think that's expensive as well, let me know down below in the comments. So we're gonna separate this out like this. Oh, this is kind of a difficult one to make. Oh, geez. Okay, and we don't even need that emerald right there. We need it right there. And then I think the slime balls go like this. Oh, this one's wrong. And then boom, shock a lock of the $10,000 sword. Check it out. So not only do we have all the effects that we had beforehand, but now we have recovery. Stand completely still while looking straight down for five seconds to recover your entire health. As you can see, there is a timer bar ticking down and boom, just like that, you literally recover your health. How amazing is that? Yep, I knew it was gonna be a diamond sword, guys. I flippin' knew it. And I feel like this is our $100,000 sword. We're gonna need to get a lot of materials over here. And we still cannot one-shot a cow. The only way we can one-shot a cow is still by critting it, which is kind of crazy. So we are gonna need to get ourselves about 30 diamonds or so. And I only have 13 diamonds, so let's get to digging. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost fully down inside these mines just a little bit. I think we have one more to go. Right over inside of here, I'm gonna put some, oh, okay, I'm not even gonna need to put 
torches down. There are now magma blocks everywhere, which look flipping amazing. Holy moly. And this is so easy. Look at how many diamonds we're going to bit. Yo, at this rate, we are literally going to be done in like two seconds flat. Something like that. Yo, check it out. Check it out. Give me this diamond right here. Yo, give me that diamond. Yeah, give me that diamond. Oh, yeah. Give me some of these diamonds, too. Oh, my gosh. I hear blazes. I think we're going to need blazes for the $1 million sword. What do you guys think? I don't know why, but I've got a feeling that we might need blazes. Oh, my gosh. There's actually so many diamonds here. This is disgusting. I keep finding more and more diamonds as I mine. Okay, get out of here, zombie. Get out of here. Oh, I see obsidian. I feel like this is how we get to the next area of the map where we can start to craft the one million dollar sword. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, what is beyond? Okay, so far, nothing down there. I'm a little bit surprised. And I think the diorite is gonna be down below this. Come on. What? No, it's not. Oh, it's just a part of decorations. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Oh, we got chickens now. Can we one shot chickens? <gasps> We can one-shot chickens. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted right now. We got to make ourselves three diamond blocks. Yeah, count it. Three diamond blocks. This is, uh, you know, it's a kind of an intense crafting recipe if you check this out. I mean, it's like diamonds on the top. Like, I don't even know. Oh, gosh. Am I going to have to remember this? I'm not good. You know what? I'm taking a screenshot of this, and I'm safe to get on my computer. I'm that sad. I have the screenshot saved. This is going to save me so much time. Trust me, guys. This is worth it. So we have to fill out these top three and then we go boom boom and then boom look at this sword guys boom just like that okay and then now we're gonna go to our diamond blocks diamond block diamond block stick stick ten thousand dollar sword and then fill in the last two spaces with iron ingots and what do you get wait oh my gosh well look at the new enchantment everything you hit dies instantly no exceptions everything is apparently a one shot with this sword guys this is only the hundred thousand dollar sword what is gonna happen when we get the million dollar sword i'm worried okay what the heck is this what we have to fill up these gauges? I have played a lot of Minecraft in my day, but I have never seen something like this. Never once in my entire life have I seen something like this. It's amazing, but also terrifying at the same time. I'm not even quite sure how to do this. It looks like what we're gonna need is we need stars. We need dragon eggs. We also need eyes of ender and obsidian as well. I don't think we need that much obsidian. I think we need to see like a few more pieces of obsidian and we should be good. But where in the heck am I going to get these other materials? I have no idea where to find any of them down here. And I, I don't have a $100,000 pickaxe, okay? I've, I've got a $100,000 sword. And I've got a zombie being rude to me. Stop being rude to me, zombie. I can literally one-shot you. I think four pieces of obsidian should do it, guys. I'm feeling pretty good about this, but there must be another... Oh, I found it. There it is. It was really, really sneaky. Super hard to find, but ladies and gentlemen, we found it. Let's get down to the next and probably last area of the map. Okay, so we've got skeletons down here. What is that? Withers? skulls okay we just got a wither skull that's kind of dangerous let's go ahead and put down some of this cobblestone i do not want to burn to death i do not want to burn to death skeleton okay i just said that that you shot me in the back with an arrow that was kind of mean where the heck am i guys okay soul sand that means it wants us to make a wither oh no i just went to the next area by accident i didn't even know we could go down any deeper all right i'm going to need to grab this wither skull uh i don't really want to grab this wither skull but i'm pretty sure i have to i'm forced to grab it this is going to to be absolutely terrifying but don't forget our sword should one shot anything so we should be okay heavy emphasis on these should be okay okay there's the next one all right skull number two found we have one more skull to f oh my gosh i need to get some building materials come here netherrack i need you <gasps> there it is the next skull i'm gonna need to kill these blazes before they kill me come here blazes sorry guys oh there's another wither skull right here can i make a wither wait don't we have three wither skulls wait we have enough wither skulls oh no why is there in stone? Oh, okay. Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to let lava go down there. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to the next area. Okay. I'm officially nervous now. Yup. Yep, I'm nervous. Okay, but we did just get our dragon egg. Let's get that dragon egg. What is this? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cool. We can literally just one tap all of these plebs. So I'm assuming these guys, we need to use these guys for the eye of enders. Yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, I know you're going to think I'm a big noob right now, but I don't remember. I don't remember how to do eye of enders. I know. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Wait. 
I think I might be the dumbest man in the world. I think I've said that a million times this video already, but I'm pretty sure to make an eye of Ender, boom and boom, and then you get the, okay, I'm literally the dumbest man in the world. We're not even gonna talk about that ever again. So we have literally everything we need, but we don't have the stars yet. So we're gonna have to keep fighting and grinding, guys. I think it's gonna take four to five. You know what? We may be okay, guys. We may be okay. Let me just kill one more blaze. And then I'm gonna look straight up. We're gonna get the heck out of here. We're gonna make this last guy. Boom, boom, boom. Got it just like that. I think what we have to do is we have to start putting in items one at a time. So let's not put in the items all at once. Yeah, see, that was the issue. We kept spamming items. And oh, we have the perfect amount of obsidian. Okay, next one, Eye of Enders. Okay, one, two, three, four. We only needed four. I'm just gonna put the fifth one in for why not. Oh, okay, I don't think we can actually, so never mind. And then now we need to put in the dragon egg. And the last but not least, the star, ladies and gentlemen, the star. Here we go. There's the wither skeleton skulls, guys. And hey, look at that. Yay. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Why can't I kill him? Um, wither? Wither? Oh my gosh, what the heck just happened? Hey, 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 come back over here, buddy. Don't you dare try to blow up this map. It's beautiful. Okay, and the nether star, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, the sword. Oh, there we go. What the heck is this sword? Oh, can we get a close-up? Okay, we're getting a close-up. Oh my gosh. This may be the world's coolest sword Hands down, no questions asked. This thing looks amazing. Look at all the different things here. Invincibility, you are completely invincible. You will never die except for the void. Cloud lift, shift in midair to summon a cloud that carries you in the direction you face. Are you kidding me? Wait, so does that mean if I go into game mode creative and if I go like this, hold on, let's get out of here. Hold shift and oh my gosh, I'm flying. I'm literally flying. This is insanity. Okay, what's the next one? What's the next one? Lightning aura, shift plus jump to strike enemies in a 10 block radius with lightning. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get him boys, get him. There we go, there we go, boom. Wait for him, there he is. Oh yeah, yeah, take some of that, boom. Oh yeah. Boom, take some of that. Boom, take another one. Oh my gosh, this sword's amazing. This might be the coolest Minecraft sword I've ever used in my entire life. And that's not all. Press five to summon a fireball that you can direct towards enemies. Uh, I'm sorry, chicken. I'm sorry, chicken. Oh my gosh, look at the fireballs. Whoa, boom. Dude, could you imagine using this sword in PvP? You would literally kill everybody and everything. I've almost killed myself with this. Is that crazy? Now we've got black hole shift plus Q to summon a black hole that sucks enemies in and drains their health. What? Oh my gosh. It works. That might be the coolest thing I've ever seen that a sword has done. Like, I mean, literally ever. They just get sucked up and they die. They can't even do anything. I'm speechless. I am officially speechless, ladies and gentlemen. This is the coolest Minecraft sword in the history of Minecraft swords. And you know what, guys? If you thought the same thing, make sure you guys leave a like down below on this video. Seriously, the most amazing Minecraft sword I've ever crafted in the history of ever. But you gotta comment down below what you wanna see me next the item, the amount, anything down below in the comments. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time. Get this iron. Oh, yeah, collect that up. Scoop up all that iron. We're going to scoop up this coal. My singing skills are bad. Please put some background music here so it doesn't sound so bad. And that's the end. I know.